okay, so, so, Sony Animation Pictures, I mean, Sony Pictures Animation made Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and then they made a sequel four years later, and it wasn't very that good. People were usually had some hard criticism on this film. Okay, so will this film be as good as good as the first film, or will it be as bad as Animat thinks about the movie? Let's find out. The story. The story is about um the same the same movie, but but it's making it with just food animals. I I get I see the plot. It's it's pretty cute. But I see some criticism in there. It can be ridiculous as it can be cute. But I have straight up mixed feelings about the plot. Yeah, that's all, that's all I have to say. And and also, now we're gonna focus on um, the animation. The animation is really good. I appreciate Sony's hard work on the animation and their characters. And, and Sony's characters just look good, and the food animals look really beautiful, and how th this gigantic world, it's so amazing, just like in the first film. But the animation looks really good. But even the character designs look good. Good job, Sony. And? But I do find a little bit criticism in the animation is that that the characters can sometimes be too a little bit over exaggerated but they still look good anyways okay now we're going to focus on the characters flint's flint's i have mixed feelings for flint now and i have mixed feelings for sam and the chicken guy but the chicken guy is pretty annoying and earl's pretty good too and the cameraman's is is a meh but now that the dad's stuck on the boat, Flint's dad, stuck on the boat, nothing to do, but it's pretty, it kind of bores me. Yeah, well, yeah, I just didn't like the characters. Yeah, I know that Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 kind of disappointed me. I'm going to give Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, um, a 5 out of 10.